Also tonight, the Louisville native accused of shooting two teenage boys also from Louisville in Panama City Beach, Florida and killing one of them is still in jail tonight. But Dennis Ting is learning this is not the suspect's first run in with the law. He's joining us live downtown with more on this man's previous arrest here in Louisville. Dennis, what'd you learn? Well, Doug, according to court records found here at the Hall of Justice, Christopher Cox was arrested and convicted of assault almost four years earlier. Part of that plea agreement was that he received treatment for mental health. 37 year old Christopher Cox is behind bars. The Louisville man was accused of shooting two teenage stepbrothers, also from Louisville, Tuesday morning in Panama City Beach, Florida, killing one of the boys. According to the arrest report, Cox told Panama City Beach police he claimed one of the boys grabbed his bag and he felt as though they were trying to steal from him. The report says Cox then took a gun from inside the bag and shot the two boys several times. Police found Cox nearby with blood on his pants. This was not Cox's first run-in with the law. According to Jefferson County District and Circuit Court records, Cox was arrested in 2017 for assaulting his mother. Court records state his mother had received a message from a neighbor that her son was acting odd in the front yard. When she arrived home, she found Cox had painted the driveway that was shared with a neighbor. He told her it was because the neighbor was not respecting their side. After she told him to clean the paint up, Cox pushed her down, and she hit her head on the corner of a table. Records say Cox then began to strike and kick victim multiple times as she lay on the ground. The records say his mother had a deep cut above her right eyebrow and had swelling to her face and right eye. Police say they did search the house and found empty bottles of alcohol, a small amount of marijuana, and several handguns and ammunition, but no weapons were taken from the house. Cox was charged with felony assault causing a serious injury. He would later plead guilty to domestic assault, which is a misdemeanor. The judge sentenced Cox to 12 months in jail, conditionally discharged for two years, and ordered Cox to undergo mental health treatment as part of the agreement. Now, Cox did appear in court yesterday where his bond was denied in this case. The mother of the surviving teen told us earlier this week that her son was discharged from the hospital after receiving treatment. Officials have not released the identities of these two teenage boys at this time. And just a bit earlier, we received an email that was sent from the principal at Moore uh, School where uh, one of the boys was a current student and uh, another, another of the boy was a former student expressing their condolences to the families about uh, what had happened over in Panama City Beach. Live downtown, Dennis Sting, WHAS 11 News.